are 32 say that Boko Haram adopted us. One of the released Kankara boys alleged. Honestly speaking, one does not know what to believe again. Hence, we hear a different version of this abduction every day. <laughs> this is really scary. I always say that we are living in a drama country where people will just uh, stage manage drama like that. What we are going to hear right now will leave you speechless. But before then, please, if you are here for the first time, kindly subscribe to this channel by pressing the subscribe button. And don't forget to click the follow button. This is where you get notification whenever we upload any video from this channel. Thank you very much once again. I do appreciate. Now, the news reading details. For these young school boys that were adopted and now released, it may be hard for them to really tell the difference between Boko Haram and bandits because even grown-ups might not even know the difference. With news reaching from Arise Television and also reported by Daily Post Nigeria, there is a new information on or allegation where one of the boys that was adopted was interviewed and he said that they were told to say that Boko Haram kidnapped them. Did you hear that one? They asked him if he knows whether their adopters were Boko Haram or bandits. And the boy replied saying that he does not know who their adopters are, but they were told to say that it was Boko Haram and members of Abu Shako's gang. He was also asked about his experience and he said from his experience, he sincerely does not think they were members of Boko Haram. So far, there has been different answers to the questions of the abductors of these young boys. Boko Haram came out or said they are responsible for their kidnap. Why, after their release, Governor Matawele of Zamfara State said that they were able to secure their release through the help of Meat Hala and some repentant bandits. And Governor Matewale has insisted that there was nothing like Boko Haram in the adoption of these boys, where he claimed it was bandits that did it. For me, oh, I don't even know what to believe anymore as we keep getting different revelations from different quarters. Remember the federal government said only 10 students were kidnapped. Why Castina State Governor said over 300 boys were kidnapped. It was the latter that turned out to be true. So, we don't know what to believe and we don't know how to trust them. That is just the truth. Okay, someone is saying here, truth don't they unfold those small, small. Now, presidency, he, the, he writes the story. Nagara Bashe will be the director. La Mohammed, now the editor. The boys went where the actors get Jumbo pay. Now, he make them voice out because the different not fulfill their promise by payment. God, they watch you now, he said. Okay, someone said, yeah. Bowari is so resourceful and forward thinking. He decided to stage Boko Haram play for a group of boys from Kankara, from Adishuna. Okay, someone said, yeah. Hmm. I said it. I know the truth. We definitely unveil. This is the, this is the real truth. More stories to come. Okay, someone said nothing is hidden before, nothing is hidden forever. The truth will come out one day. All right. Somebody said that yeah, even a child knows that that abduction was stage managed. They did that to uh, supposedly make us believe that these governments can swiftly rescue abducted citizens without delay. 
it is to claim victory and relevance over the Jonathan's era when the Chibok girls wasn't rescued. Whatever the mix they display, it only make them childish and competing and contenting with their shadows. To all sensible Nigerians, their dreams are too boring. They are like an old woman, old woman who dance in the market square, but one looks at her, but no one looks at her. All right, someone said, yeah, we won't change you, and we have seen changes. Okay, someone said, yeah, how can President Muhammad Buhari claim that I'm a rescued Kankara student? This is laughable. How many bandits did Ami killed in the process? And this is the question. How did they rescue them? How did they negotiate? Nobody was killed. No gun shot. <laughs> Honestly speaking, we really need to think very well about this. Okay, he said, when USA went to our Sambesa forest to rescue the uh, national, national, they killed six before rescuing their person. How many bandits did our military kill, sir? If you want the service chiefs to remain, no problem. But lying that our military negotiated for the release of the kidnap is laughable. And these have been the questions Nigerians are asking. So, Nigerian government is now negotiating with criminals. Then, you 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 negotiated with these people and they released the children to you and you left them just like that you left them you let them go free ah the the matter eh he get a cb he get k leg my people so i beg i want to make on a put mad for this matter what's your view on this let's hear from you Bye for now.